Uh, my name is Larry Kern, and I was transplanted here at Inova October 5th, 2004. <clears throat> I was diagnosed in 2003 and uh, went to see some pulmonologists. And, uh, you know, to me, uh, dealing with the medical industry just turned out to be talking about FEV1, FEC, DSOO, and, and here I am in this, uh, this terrible condition. And, it's like talking to your accountant, you know? So um, I came down to Washington, D.C. for a seminar, and Geraldine Connors and Dr. Nathan were talking there. And Geraldine starts to talk about something called pulmonary rehab, and she, she uses the words quality of life. So, I mean, that, that really registered with me because I was experiencing a funkiness of life. Um, progressive funkiness, I guess, and uh, nothing, uh, no one in the medical industry was actually talking about that. You know, they wanted to talk about scarring and, uh, and different lung functions, and I wanted to talk about, well, I don't feel too good, you know, and I, I can't walk so far, and, and these oxygen tanks are making life a little difficult, plus people are staring at me. You know, that whole area just didn't seem to be addressed, so I thought, well, this is pretty good. And I went back to New York. Uh, I live in New York, lived at New York, I moved down here. And I went to um, my pulmonologist and asked for him to refer me. And now he said, well, you don't want to do that. That's just quality of life, which wasn't the answer I wanted, you know. And he said, no, you need to talk to, you know, pulmonologists. In fact, I'm going to refer you to a, a more specialized pulmonologist uh, that knows more about IPF. Well, I went to him and said, well, refer me to pulmonary rehab, and he did. And so I went to a program in New Jersey for eight weeks. Uh, when I came down here in preparation for transplant, uh, then I understood what, what Geraldine was talking about. Uh, down here, um, you know, the, the rehab therapists actually look at you here. You know, they actually talk to you most of the time. Now, uh, up in New Jersey, uh, they would talk to you as you entered in the morning, and they'd ch check you in. And they give you like a work sheet of things to do, you go do it. But you wouldn't see them, you'd have to go exercise by yourself. And when you finish, they'd check you out. So, uh, but down here, uh, they actually follow you around and measure your, your stats, stats as you're exercising and, they, and uh, spend time asking you about your condition. And they spend a lot of time on education. They spent um, like an hour and a half on education and an hour and a half on, on training. And uh, that, that really worked wonders for me.